Hey Scorpio, welcome into your reading. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're doing well. The first impressions I'm getting from your reading, Scorpio, is that you have put up a defense, maybe perhaps around your heart area. Maybe you've been hurt before in love and you've decided to be more careful in love, blocking off intimate connections, even with family and friends, not letting them into the depths of your heart space, your emotional body, keeping that sense to yourself. Maybe you're going through some things and you're not really sharing right now. Maybe you've just been very emotional in the recent maybe in the recent months you've been emotional deeply. On the other side, I feel like you are very strong, Scorpio, to get through this. You are the magician of your story. I feel like you don't yet, or you're coming to realize your strength in finding balance in your emotions, in being able to tame, to be aligned with your higher nature, to find peace solitude, clarity, direction, forward. All right, let us continue. For some of you, you could be at that crossroads in love, ready to move forward are not sure yet you could go back but for the most part I feel like you are already on this journey this is a decision that you've made and you're going ahead with it Alright, so many of you are looking into financial stability right now, increasing your income. I will not be reading reversals. There's triumph coming your way. You're about to be very triumphant in some aspect of your life. Very victorious. Could be something dealing with your emotions, maybe getting balanced in your emotions, a sense of pride and pleasure. Just feel like riding the wave, allowing things to flow, being creative. Feel like not judging yourself, just accepting the part, the stages of your growth, your development. Enjoying the journey forward. For some of you, you're not trusting your intuition a lot right now. As if your water got disturbed. Your energy balance was disturbed and you don't feel confident in how you'll be interpreting situations around you. <clears throat> Whether or not you should move forward if it's the right decision. Wanting to become clear in the process. But I feel you will come to a place of remembering your strength. Remembering your nature. The water sign, deep emotions fill you. Maybe start putting yourself out there, putting yourself to the test to see how stable your emotional senses are. 
because you can't give up. If an athlete gets injured, he keeps training, keeps pushing himself. So you have to keep challenging yourself, testing yourself, diving deep into your emotions, experimenting until you heal, until you begin to trust again, knowing how to move forward. Trust in yourself that even if you fall, you'll be caught. You'll be caught. Hmm. Beautiful new beginnings are before you. Amazing. You're ready to be on this journey forward, Scorpio. You're ready to burst out, feel free, release, to let go, unwind, to travel, perhaps. To be outdoors, exploring. To not be trapped by burdens, really. To be out there enjoying life, having fun, loving, trusting, being vibrant, feeling abundant, financially abundant, as well as emotionally fulfilling your purpose in life. All right, someone could be looking at you, spying at you, into your life, the, the steps that you're taking. Maybe someone could be seeing you v living life, having fun. Maybe you moved on from a situation. Yes. And now, maybe this is a person from your past. This is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you block this person. They may be sending you a message. But they're watching you. They're feeling you. I feel as if... Wondering how you're feeling. Wondering what you're thinking about. Oh my God. I feel like you did move away from this person. Whatever relationship it was, over, done. But that, it don't have to be a person necessarily. It can be a situation, a business, a job. I feel like you're moving out of a situation that wasn't right. Wow, just releasing. There was tension here. Maybe it was an environment where you really were not trusting. You had to have your de you had to have your defenses up. Tension, just the static energy. I feel like you really liberated yourself and moved, pulled yourself out of that that energy. It could be for some of you, like you're still mourning, mourning someone, someone that was dear to you, you're mourning. Wow, oh my God, you're going to, you lost, some of you really lost a person, a situation, and I feel like you're, you're very strong about it actually. <laughs> Maybe you don't know how to accept it yet. But you're, you're, you're holding yourself together well, I feel. Maybe you and this person or childhood friends or someone that's very dear to you. Their presence is very prominent in your life. You're keeping, you're being strong. But maybe you need to trust your emotions, even if you break down and be vulnerable. Trust in yourself. You don't have to pretend to be strong if you feel weak. Someone might be thinking about you, how you feel. This is you moving into healing. 
healing your sorrows perhaps getting through the situation in divine timing taking your time releasing old emotions getting grounded again breathing taking taking it easy on yourself taking time alone scorpio to maybe sit outside at night look at the stars ask the questions within yourself what it is that you need to be free of how it is you're going to get through Hmm. keep on dreaming wishing for healing for well-being sending messages of well-being maybe this person from your past is is the one if some of you are facing uh, oh, if some of you are dealing with someone that passed away this could be that person Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Let's look. <sighs> the Page of Swords. Authority, overseeing, secret service, vigilance, spying, examination, and the qualities thereto belonging. Somebody is spying on you, watching over you, perhaps. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Um, taking your time healing, I feel. Like you're just maybe alone not healing with a lot of people right now maybe going to the areas where you used to spend time with this person and reminiscing feeling tapping into your strength maybe you're you're you're, you're helping your family to heal you're being strong hmm. You do feel a bit of a conflict inside or this is what you're moving away from maybe should i mourn should i mourn with my family maybe there's conflict within your family situation and you have to be remaining strong or should i let my emotions show should i what should i do with the feeling the feelings that are manifesting inside of me should I should I give attention to them or should I crumble them up and toss them aside what should I do with these feelings this war healing and you're moving into that space mm -mm -mm. All right, this is also a very beautiful card. New beginnings. So, the dawn is breaking. There's healing coming for you. There's healing overall in your entire, your home. You know, many people were hurt or a person was hurt by many. I don't know if there was justice in the situation but many people need to heal too here it feels like a procession but I do feel new beginnings new the sun is the dawn is breaking the sun is rising something is shifting and changing within the dynamic of the home of the environment hmm. this could be an elder person here Wow. 
now abundance new beginnings this could be the dawn that is breaking here something coming in that will cause some sort of a justification for the situation satisfaction maybe this is what many are looking for a compensation new beginnings transformations just financial abundance prosperity inheritance perhaps financial inheritance this could be a feeling of value and wealth well-being coming into you being presented to you a gift from the universe a gift from a loved one a gift that you receive within yourself through healing so in the end I feel you learn to be more stable you're going on that emotionally grounded financially stable grounding in your the way you think of yourself your attitude the things that you desire to do in this life the steps that you need to take grounded in your beliefs the ones that serve you diving deep into yourself Scorpio remembering who you are learning again to trust in your emotions your intuitions healing that space within you that was disrupted healing by water by walking on the beach by drinking water staying hydrated by cleansing with water by detoxing coconut water connecting with nature all right so there's a lot of joy coming into your life here with the sun card and we remember also that listen death is never the end we move on we transcend into the brand new when we die we do we never take burdens with us we're brand new people ready to experience life again the old is left in the past and so for many coming out transitioning out of certain ways of being remember that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel for you learning how to see yourself holy as a child of the sun here free released unburdened transforming a cycle of life here all right thank you so much for being a part of this reading i hope that you find messages that help you along your journey scorpio in healing and well-being if you did please give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future uploads very much appreciated thank you so much remember scorpio that you can be to have everything and anything that you desire out of this life dream big because you are all and all is within you take care much love